this hole in the first round, that's the pin. What do you notice? Kind of everywhere. Yeah. Yeah. There's a scatter. Yeah. These are the best players in the world that are all hitting from 197 yards. Yeah. So if we measure from the center of their scatter pattern, there's going to be a diameter to it, right? Mm -hmm. And so if we know the distance that they're hitting from, we can define how big the scatter pattern will be. And we could assume that your scatter is going to be maybe a little better, bigger yeah. or worse than the best players in the world, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So. Scott Fawcett created a system called Decade, which basically does all the math for you. It says, for every given yardage, we're going to have a scatter pattern. And if we know how to move our scatter pattern appropriately around on the green, then we can play aggressively when we're supposed to, and we can play less aggressively when we're supposed to, right? And what would determine that is where the trouble is. Here's a hole location, and I believe this example is from 160 yards. So for most tour players, this is a nine iron, maybe an eight iron chip, eight iron, right? This is, if you aim at the target, this is the PGA Tour baseline scatter pattern. So how many balls were hit really close to the hole? Really close? Yeah. Like four. Four, Yeah. right? And then we've got some over here, short side in this bunker, yeah. and these are shots are all dead, Yeah. right? So this is with the players aiming directly at the flag. If you aim where you should have aimed, based on decade, which is that star, mm -hmm. how many balls are close to the hole? Six. Well, four. Four. It's the same okay. amount. Oh, okay, yeah. Right? But there's less that are way over here making big numbers. So mm -hmm. what I'm saying is whether you aim at the flag or you aim left or right at the flag, you're going to hit the same number of balls close to the hole. Because you're not going to hit it where you look every time. You're going to push some, you're going to pull some, right? I see. But your scatter is still going to produce the same number of balls close to the hole. But if we have a reasonable amount of skill, we're going to be able to eliminate some problems. Yeah. Right? There's so, no more of the death ones over there. Right. So if you want to know how far you should hit it or where you should aim, let's take this number, for example. And I'm going to call this 100 yards. We'll check the number yeah. in a second, right? Let's just say it's a 100 yard shot. Yeah. He's got a little chart here that says, from 100 yards, the baseline number is five. And what he's calling that baseline number is, from the center of your shot pattern, mm -hmm. five yards right, five yards left. So it's basically, if you take your yardage and take 10% of that number, just 10, and you take half of that, that's how you're gonna be shifting your shot pattern, right? Yeah. So with this flag, we need five yards right, mm -hmm. and we need five yards left, to be authorized to aim directly at this flag and fire at it. Do we have that? Yeah. Of course. So we would be shooting right at this pin. Mm -hmm. But let's say this flag was cut four from the right over there. Mm -hmm. Well, now that bunker shot is very penal. Yeah. So we need to shift away from that. So if you look at this little green key down here, can you see that? Mm -hmm. This diagram is saying there's a pin right down here and this bunker is downhill short-sided. This is water. These extra values here are numbers that we would add to the baseline number. So let's say this is a hundred yard shot mm -hmm. and the pin's sitting right down here. Well because this is water, mm -hmm. we're, we're going to take our baseline number from the front, which is five, and add the three. We're going to be playing eight yards deep into that green. So if the pin's sitting there at four, we're going to be playing four yards past that pin. So we would use mathematics to shift our scatter pattern away from the trouble. This is a poor example because this green pin sitting right in the middle of the green. Yeah. We're firing at it probably no matter what because, mm -hmm. do you see any trouble? No. No. Right? Yeah. So if it's a 100 and 200 yard shot, we'd need 10 yards left and 10 yards right. We still got it. Yeah. We'd still be firing at this flag from 200 yards.